They showed up and they did exactly what they came here to do, which is kick ass and take name. And uh, the Copa America started tonight, opening night, which it was so cool to see. Their their camera must be like on the upper deck or something of Mercedes Benz because just because when you watch a Falcons game. Um, I mean, those who have been to an NFL game or a college game, like they have the tripod going back and forth, like right in between the sideline and like, you know, front row Joe there in the lower bowl. But to see it like zoomed out, it makes the football field seem so much bigger. And I don't know, like the proportions of that stadium, the game just made it seem so much bigger than it truly is. Because, you know, when we're watching a Falcons Buccaneers game or something like the stadium just seems more compact because they're playing only on a hundred yard field. And I find it, I find it very funny that, uh, Argentina gets a win in Mercedes-Benz before the Falcons do in 2024. So, man, go figure. That's kind of funny. Which, what's going to be funny, too, is come Saturday. Is it Saturday? Yeah. Come Saturday when um the United States plays in Jerry World. Hey, whoever wins out of that one, they're going to get a win in Cowboys Stadium in 2024 before the Cowboys ever do. What a good start to Copa America. I mean, we got the Euros going on at the same time I've been watching... Both of them, like I watched the opening night for the Euros win. Germany absolutely smacked the hell out of Scotland. Um, and then I watched the uh, the Italy versus Albania game too. When there was that beautiful redirect goal to make it two to one. Oh my gosh, that was that was an awesome game. And I, I didn't see the Portugal game even though I know that they came back and scored very late in that one. I'll probably rewatch it. I think Portugal won that one, but we got two big cups going on right now, and I want to follow them closely, you know, give my own prediction, which, yeah, first half, 0-0. Zero, zero. I will say, though, that there was a chance for Canada in the 42nd minute, but there was a big save. Both goalies made a lot of big saves, and I think the biggest thing standing out from this game was Messi. I mean, he's human. He had two goal chances there. There was two chances where Messi could have put it in. Um, but that that goalie from Canada, he did stop one, but then the other one was deflected. Um, I it only time will tell. Messi's gonna get he's gonna get a goal. He's bound to get a goal sometime in this. Even though like those two chances were so beautiful, like breakaway, um, odd man rush. They play ah they play Chile on Tuesday, um, which I think they said that one's up. That one's gonna be at MetLife, so it's like oh gosh. Oh gosh, what a terrible, I mean, knock on wood that it doesn't happen. That freaking, we have the biggest, best star player in the world playing at MetLife and he tears his Achilles four plays in. I mean, holy shit. Argentina, Copa America. Yeah, where is that one that we play? MetLife, no! Dude, MetLife sucks. It's turf. Oh gosh, terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Which he took a scary, there's almost a scary injury. He ran into, I think it was Bombito, um, where they went knee to knee there. But, I mean, hit, there would definitely be a bruise, but, you know, he's made out of steel. He'll, he's carried the weight of Argentina. I think he'll be fine. But then, to start out the second half, uh, beautiful goal by Alvarez. Looked like there could have been a penalty. I don't remember what the actual call was because I was watching the Spanish broadcast, not the Fox broadcast. Then between the first goal, there's a couple saves uh, against Messi. The second goal to make it 2-0 happened in the 88th minute uh, where Martinez, beautiful assist from Messi um, to cap off the end of the game. Argentina's goalkeeper stopped a lot of good chances. There was one chance there um, when it hit him right in the bread basket. Canada team, either it's either... Argentina didn't play well and they let Canada hang around or Canada's a lot better than we think they are. This Canada team, they hung in there for the most part. I haven't watched Argentina play since the World Cup, so it was pretty cool to watch them play again. I think they, they got to be playing at SoFi too. Hold on, let me check something. State, whoa, holy shit. State Farm Stadium? Dude, what? There's going to be one at State, dude, whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, so they're playing where the Cardinals are playing. They're playing Levi Stadium, NRG Stadium, AT&T, Hard Rock. Uh, so they're playing where the Texans play. They're playing where the Dolphins play. SoFi, there we go. 
They gotta play in SoFi, dude. Allegiant, Vegas, K, okay. SoFi. Arrowhead Stadium? Oh my gosh, why? Why are they playing in at Arrowhead Stadium? That's so stupid. Like if if they're gonna go to if they're gonna go to Arrowhead to an open outdoor stadium, Kansas City like Arrowhead's not even the most notorious famous NFL stadium that doesn't have a dome. It's Lambeau Field, dude. Might as well. Shit, there's no snow in Wisconsin in July. <laughs> Hopefully not. But and they're gonna play where the Panthers play, you know, in North Carolina. You might as well show them up there too in the north. And have them go to legendary Lambeau Field. Like, how badass would that be? I wonder where the final is going to be. The final... I have a feeling that the final's either going to be at SoFi Stadium. Or, you know, Jerry Jones is just shaking in his boots. To get the final to be... <laughs> uh, in Dallas. Which, it'd be a more recent championship game. That the Cowboys have been in like 30 years. Ayo! Even though we're talking soccer, we still got to roast the Cowboys. Because...